there's a flood on one day of raining, not even one day. It's little rain to where it doesn't even make problems, but we got an area, just a certain area that has a big flood. Um, I can show you that video later, those videos later, and the flood actually continues for three days. Now, during the day, it went down, and you can see that there's really little water coming through, but during the night, it comes back up and keeps falling. So, again, we don't know why there's a flood. So we don't know. What's what's the relationship been like with with the sheriff? Have you guys tried to like talk to him, reason with him, or has it just been this, this it's conflict? It's been the whole just time? this conflict the whole time. Because Larue, ever since he's been off, he's been promoting racism, hatred, um, been telling the uh, community, Siski community, that these are all Asian cartels, Asian mafia. Uh, he claims that it's not racism, but you know, if you, you painted the whole race, a whole race. <laughs> as criminals and their violence. What are you thinking? What are you saying? That to me that's the definition of racism. I mean you say that you guys are, are breaking the law by not having the right permits for your property. But still we're not Asian cocktails or we're not Asian mafia. Okay. Uh, there's bad apples in every single tree. Mm -hmm. Now if, if they're breaking the law, whoever's breaking the law, that's their job to report that law mm -hmm. to that individual. Nah, they don't have, like, for example, but like how I was saying, I can't go out there and I, I'll say, okay, the whole United States is all racist. Mm -hmm. Or I can't go out there and say, okay, the whole United States or all white race are Nazi or all white race are, you know, the devil or, you know, cartels or, you know, criminals. Because that's not true. How many people here around you would you say? They have been affected by the water law. Pretty area. much everybody. And there's more right now. The, the water ordinance is trickled down to, you know, even uh, to our white neighborhoods as well. It's not just us, anymore, but it's going to affect. It's going to start affecting everybody. Um, the, the little guys, now the big guys, the big farmers, I'm not going to affect them at all. But the little guys, it's going to the citizens, like the poor. So low class. That's what they're doing. I mean, it must have taken a lot to get this, this many people out on the streets on a Tuesday morning. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so what is it? So, you so, sent me this picture. This yeah, North Korea this, photo. This is crazy. This is crazy. Hold on, let me, uh, let me this is the entrance up, to one of the, uh, to, uh, oh, oh, oh. the subdivision. And during this time here is uh, a, uh, the, the only people that are actually able to enter there are, uh, are the Cal Fire, National Forest, and also uh, the Sheriff Department. So from the road, it was blocked about a mile down so no one could enter through there. So the only one that had access to it. I don't know who has a great idea of doing this. Now, this offends a lot of these uh, older uh, generations because they fought against communists alongside, side by side with the U.S. troops. They even saved a shitload of U.S. pilots that, you know, has gone down. Uh, U.S. troops. You know. calling, calling you guys communists. Is Com the worst communists is thing that you can do to paint the uh, Asian community out there. So, you know, if, you know, you, you don't see this racism, I still don't know what it is. How long has this, has this racism been, been new? Has it always been this, like, out it's there? always, it's always been out there, but they don't really come out of the closet until the real edge of touching off. All the emotions that he does, you know. As long as soon as you're taking office, we start seeing more racism coming out and over. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, he, he did, uh, they did, they um, went in and delete a lot of stuff that they said kind of official uh, Facebook page. Um, you can see that in there, they even put in fake news in there on posts and shared on their official government page. But, they need you inside. You guys need me inside? Alright, All right, man. It's good. Good Do your job. All right, so I am outside of the old Wairika courthouse, and as you can see behind me, lots have gathered for the protest that is set to start at 9. I kind of 
wondering if I should go in there. Do you know if you have to wear a mask inside? Probably not. This guy has a camera. Let's see. Uh, I'm here with myself in on a snow. I guess not. I'm not sure what they're saying. I'm not able to speak long. <laughs> Have a great day. Outside, people are gathered. There's also another uh, protest going on down the road against mandatory vaccines. I'm not really 100% sure uh, what the situation. Obviously, all places are cracking down with the vaccinations, but uh, I'm not exactly sure what they're protesting. If there's a specific date that has been set for people to get vaccinated, but That's there. <laughs> the roads closed down, so they don't actually need to be on the sidewalk. But, anyways, I'm gonna turn you around, and you can see everybody. How's it going, everybody? Thanks for joining. Please share and let other people see what is going on. <laughs> I'm like in the way. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm just no. trying to film. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You want to step to the side for a second? Yeah. I'm going to go live in just a minute, uh, so stay tuned. Yeah. 